kitchen here in my home. So good to see you as always. Wanted to cut a little video for you here as we all get ready for the Super Bowl. And of course, one of the best parts about the Super Bowl is what you eat at the Super Bowl. Now, I gotta lay down some ground rules for watching this video because what's gonna happen during this video is you're gonna see a lot of things that are not prepared ahead of time like the cooking shows have. You're gonna hear my dogs probably barking in the background and you're probably gonna hear my kids yelling in the background as well. But that's all part of the household. They know dad's taping this, but we're gonna press on as we go. Now. All right, so we're gonna use some ground turkey instead of ground beef because it's leaner and those who are smart about food say it's supposed to be better for you. So that's what we do here at our household is we use turkey, ground turkey when we're making hamburgers, spaghetti, taco night, anything like that. But And the other thing too is I do not prepare ahead of time like I should with any kind of dinner. So I'm usually left with frozen meat and it takes forever and a day to actually cook it. So if you're like me, that's happening in your house too as well. All right, so while the meat is cooking, we're gonna get some of our vegetables ready to go here. And like I said, these are things that we like to add to our chili, make it a little bit more, I don't know, dense. Put a few more things in it so it's got a little bit more bite. I am not a fan. Now, I grew up in a household, and I don't know about you, I grew up in a household where my folks always cooked with onions and always had onions, like raw onions on top of hamburgers, and I cannot stand it. Um, what I do enjoy is cooking onions, cooking with onions, and making sure that they cook down a little bit because I think the flavor, the caramelization of the, of the onion is really flavorful in a lot of food. So I find myself a lot of times cooking with onions for every other kind of recipe, but eating them raw, no. Usually cut off the ends, just clean it up a little bit. And when I'm making things like tuna fish, chicken salad, I'll, I'll use smaller slices of celery, but when it's soup or things like chili, I always like going a little bit bigger of a piece. Just personal preference, probably. Celery right there. I cannot believe how quiet my dogs are being right now. So we've got some of the vegetables that are gonna go into our pot of chili. That is sitting out in front of us. We've also got some serrano peppers that we are gonna mix into the cornbread mixture. Mushrooms, another thing that we wanna get ready to go as we throw those into the mix. But then the other part of this that you never see on the cooking shows. Now normally I would be playing music in my kitchen, listening to probably some Yacht Rock, uh, or some Def Leppard, something like that. But of course we can't play that for you here because once we start playing music in the background and you hear that, we have got to make sure that uh, we don't get in trouble with uh, any of the recording studios so that they don't sue us for playing that music in the background. So anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm opening up a couple of cans. Got a can of refried beans, got a can of diced, uh, diced tomatoes, green chilies. Also, one of these that really gives it a good flavor fire roasted diced tomatoes. So if you can find those in your grocery store, definitely do add those to this recipe. And then finally, for any good chili, unless you're getting it in Cincinnati where you can say no beans when you go to Skyline or some of the other stores down in Cincinnati, you gotta add beans. But you make sure you drain them. Make sure you drain them. That's a big part of this. Doing the meat, we've got the meat going. It's almost done at this point. I'm gonna cut in halves and maybe quarter even these mushrooms as we get these ready to throw in. These will cook up, you know, it, raw mushrooms. I can eat any kind of mushrooms raw, cooked, it doesn't matter. I know that uh, 
I've got a couple of finicky eaters in the house and they don't like mushrooms per se. So usually when we cook them up, it's a little bit more tolerable uh, or they don't, just don't have to know about it. So like we said, we chose to go with ground turkey here today because it's leaner, but if you do cook with ground beef, you're gonna be left over with a lot of grease in the pan. In this case, you don't have to drain it. So we're just gonna set this aside. Obviously the fire is still going, but as we put this aside here, now we're gonna get our pan ready to cook up some of our vegetables. So we use a little bit of olive oil. Spread that around a little bit. And then we dump in our vegetables. Now you're probably looking at that saying that's gonna that's quite a lot Jeff but that's all gonna cook down okay so now that these vegetables have cooked down quite a bit obviously you see it's not nearly as full as it was before because the onions they are starting to cook down flavor really coming out the peppers look good mushrooms smaller so that my kids won't notice as much and then what this recipe calls for is a tablespoon of chili powder That measured out pretty well. And then I'm gonna do about half that amount in minced garlic. So we'll stir that around. All right, so we've got everything going on the stovetop. Perfect, we are getting ready to make our cornbread. I've already got melted butter. I've got two eggs in the mix. It calls for a cup of milk, which we are gonna pour in just like that. And then we are gonna whisk this around and try not to make a mess. Okay, so once we get this all set to go, then we are gonna add in our mix, which like I said, I did not make this from scratch. I think you would have been more impressed had I done that, but we're just getting to know each other, so that's good to go. All right, so we got the mix in there. Okay, so we've got our chili, that is all set to go, and now we're gonna make the big transfer over to the iron skillet which you ask my family, it's one of my favorite tools in the kitchen, is to be able to cook things in the iron skillet, whether it be steaks or pork chops. We've even done pancakes in this bad boy, and they cook up really nice. So I had a lot more of the chili than I needed, because I don't want to make this too tall in the iron skillet, because what's going to happen is it's going to rise, the cornbread will rise, and then go over the top and make an absolute mess, and we don't want that. So we've got a lot more than we need, as we said, but we're just gonna put that filling on there. And it looks really good, color is good. All right, so we got the oven glove ready to go. We have got our mixture, the cornbread, and also the chili ready to go into the oven. We preheated the oven to 400 degrees, so we're gonna head, go ahead and put that in there. And then that is supposed to bake for 25, 30 minutes, or you know, when you bake anything, use a toothpick, go in there, make sure it's done, and you'll be able to serve it up. All right, the timer went off. That means we are ready to bring this bad boy out and look at that. Golden brown on the top. You can see some of the chilies that are poking through the crust. And then I'm gonna grab a plate. It is extremely hot, coming right out of the oven. 
and there you see right there some of the great toppings and very easy very easy to serve something like this up for Super Bowl Sunday